up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 167 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Big Daddy. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. where this fight takes place. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Blocks the shot. Good punch, Lance. Went for the inside leg kick. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Changes his stance. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Now connects with the right. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Misses with the left hook. Nice sneaky head kick. Single collar tie here. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just misses there with the left. Liver kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Final seconds here in round one. Second round, straight ahead. Well, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Nice workout. You're really pushing hard. I can see you're working, but you're not being effective. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Able to check the high kick. Ooh, big knee. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh! Massive kick to the body lands flush. Spinning back fist. He has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his pulling. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big kick land. to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the 
accuracy. The accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 20 seconds to go round two. Sneaky head kick. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets good. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. While he continues to find the openings tonight, beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Big kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just really mixing up the target. Sight to behold. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. You're in a ground fighting situation with this fighter. You're potentially playing with fire. 15 seconds remain in the round. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Close guard. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Oh, 
blocks that kick to the body. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, a huge block there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh. Just as he did in the previous round, looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh my goodness! He's got him hurt here. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Looking for that left hand, not there. Switching stances here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. They continue to exchange. Head kick. Less than a minute to go in the round. There's no tell on that leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big body kick. with that punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to... Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Right. Try to establish that jab. Visibly limping here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. You can't take many of those, you better check. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Big head kick land. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's 
body with that body kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big leg kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice leg kick. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Checks the leg kick, lunges forward with a left there. Whoa! All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was